An Egyptian delegation is in Moscow to discuss the investigation into the Russian plane crash in the Sinai last year. Russia is also expected to present its findings. A Russian newspaper claims the perpetrator has been identified. He's apparently an Egyptian who worked in the luggage department of the airport. It is believed he's fled to Turkey. Meanwhile, Egypt says it has fulfilled 85% of Russia's aviation safety demands. It is expecting Russia to resume flights to Egypt in the near future. Well, Julia Lyubova is in Moscow and she filed this update now on the Egyptian delegation's visit. Egypt says it has now fulfilled 85% of Russia's demand regarding its aviation safety. Now Cairo wants Russia to take steps and resume its flights. Direct flights between the two countries were suspended following the Sinai crash. All 224 people on board were killed. And Egypt has been losing millions of dollars in tourism revenue. The black boxes and the debris of the plane have been analyzed over the past few months to determine how the plane went down. But during that time, Egypt has been boosting security in resort areas and at airports. Well, foreign delegations have, meanwhile, been traveling to Egypt to, to assess those security upgrades. Uh, last week, Russia's transport minister met with Egypt's Minister of Civil Aviation in Moscow. It's hoped that flights may soon resume and boost Egypt's flagging economy. Julia Lubova, CCTV, Moscow. Let's get you more on that story now. And I'm joined live from Cairo by CCTV Yasa Hakim. Yasa, a suspect may have likely been identified there. What more can you tell us about that Egyptian suspect? And what is the likelihood that he may be a member of the banned Muslim Brotherhood? Uh, well, yes, the information that has been leaked is that um, this suspect is um, working in the airport. He's an employee there and he has access to the luggage areas of the airport and that's uh, he used this access to place a bomb inside the luggage uh, that was that went on board the plane and and that's how it blew up uh, in mid-air before uh, going down uh, in Sinai but uh, whether he's a, a Muslim Brotherhood uh, member this could be a high probability um, the Brotherhood uh, members a lot of them are, are working in, in various institutions in Egypt. There are Egyptians who have uh, been here, in, are living in Egypt for years and, and can, you cannot identify a lot of them. Uh, and, and the Muslim Brotherhood uses access to certain areas through these people, these sleeping cells, uh, to try to, uh, as the government claims, to try to uh, bring uh, chaos to the country and more violence uh, that would affect the, eco the economic side of uh, of the uh, country um, uh, but it could be working in affiliation with ISIL cooperation there uh, because it has been a sophisticated uh, job if it's true that that's how the plane went down uh, and uh, there are hallmarks of maybe ISIL cooperation with um, the Muslim Brotherhood the banned Muslim Brotherhood uh, but yet it, this is all uh, at this point speculation uh, and claims by the government all right, Yasser Hakim following the developments for us there from Cairo.